Virgo, this is Donna from Tarot Tear. We're going to do a quick read for you. Try to keep it to 15 minutes if we can. Um, we're going to do a freestyle, so the dice are going to just let you know everything you need to know. And at the end, we're going to do um, six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with Gemini, yada, yada. So um, if any cards repeat, I will point that out to you in case it's something you need to know and any particular size associated in case you came here for confirmation of some somebody you came here to hear about. Um, and I think that's it. So let's get rolling. All right, so 10, 15, 22 is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck. This is one of the decks that I've reviewed. I did some um, deck reviews. I did Lightseer's Good Tarot, Modern Witch, this one, um, Steampunk, and Wizards. And I think tonight, if anybody does want to read Tarot or is thinking about getting this deck, this is the uh, Tarot of the Vampires. I'm, I think I'm going to review this one tonight. So if you're curious, I am probably going to do that one. So let's see what spread you all need to hear and my table is not even <laughs> all right so um not all those maybe you need a lot of readings <laughs> all right virgo what um virgo sun moon rising of venus what do you need to hear what do you need to hear what do you need to hear relationship spread so it's a six card spread so for those of you who do have relationship woes um, let's see what's going on with y'all. Got a little OCD going on over here. All right, so let's see. Six cards. Okay. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about them? How do you feel about this person? You might feel like they're all about their money. You get the King of Pentacles. Or you may feel like, um, you might feel like they're materialistic, maybe. Um, how they feel about you, ooh, obsessed. <laughs> they are obsessed with you. Or they may feel that you're, um, <laughs> you're the devil. They may think that you're really unhealthy. You, they may think you're toxic. <laughs> or they just might be super obsessed with you. Or it could be both, you know. Maybe they're obsessed with the fact that you are so toxic <laughs> um what you make together um queen of swords is like okay so this is gonna be interpreted several different ways queen of swords um if it's how somebody is acting towards you it's they're being bitchy male or female they're being bitchy um but what you make together i feel like you make clarity out of the confusion and i you know what the reason oh damn Damn, I did not need to see that. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so, see how, look at all this. This is, the clouds are kind of like confusion. And this, here's the sword of clarity. So, you together, you cut through the bullshit. So, you make clarity out of the confusion, apparently. Um, what you must, what you most need to know about them. Um, they... <laughs> Well, they're good all on their own. Um, they don't need anybody. Um, I'm not saying that they want to be single, but they have everything that you need. They're, I mean, if nothing else, this is somebody who's not codependent. This is somebody who doesn't need anyone. Um, they're not needy. And they're fine on their own. They're, they're, they're well-adjusted and healthy, and they have everything they need. So... That's actually a Virgo card because Virgos a lot of times don't really need anybody. You know, they're, they're good on their own. Um, so blocks and difficulties. Um, so this is a new start in love. This is also a marriage card. Um, so the block is it's not getting started. So this must be somebody you are on a break from. Because it looks like um, the block and difficulty right now is that there, it, there's not a new start happening. Um, the best way forward... i got to see this. This will be good. Ugh. Ignore them. Reject them. Refuse them. Best, best way forward is to ignore them. <laughs> because it looks like... Heartbreak is at the end. The, the, the soul... This all result, re, revolves around heartbreak. 
So either they're breaking your heart or you're breaking theirs or you're both breaking each other's heart. Um, so maybe there's some kind of unhealthy thing going on. I don't know. I don't see, like, I don't see anything that looks like any kind of cheating or anything like that. Um, and I don't see fighting. There's no five of wands, no five of swords. Um, but there's just no start happening. And this person, what you need to know about them is they don't necessarily need anyone. They're, but I don't feel like it's in a bad way. Maybe they want to be single. I don't know. Um, but they're, they're good. They have everything they need. Well, the good thing about that is they're not codependent. <laughs> but it's telling you the best way forward is just to ignore them. It's, this all, I, this sucks, man. This all revolves around heartbreak. Dude, I'm sorry. I don't want to even give you this, <laughs> dude. Like, like it's all, you know, guys that I'm talking to. Um, Y'all, I hate delivering that kind of news. That stinks. But, okay, so this particular relationship spread um it's saying I, you know what i said that the cancer reading the leo reading i'm basically telling everybody i feel like i'm rich lock now i'm telling everybody to break up with everyone no offense to rich if he ever sees that and don't don't be telling rich i'm bad mouthing him because i'm not but it does like if you've watched his reads he's like nope nope i wouldn't do it <laughs> it does seem like he says that a lot um 28 is the uh Modern Witch Tarot. Okay, so readiness for love. Okay, so let's take a look and see how ready you are for love. Because maybe you need to move forward and focus on new. All right, readiness for love. So let's take a look. And I reviewed this deck too. This is one of the ones that I reviewed. So if you're interested in any of those and you think about getting one and you want to know if it's worth the money, Check the uh, flip throughs I did. The steampunk is an official unboxing because I you'll actually see me taking the wrap off of it. <laughs> because the one that I have already, um, the two of cups went missing of all things. And I found myself literally sitting there saying, where's my two of cups? Where's my two of cups? And if you think about it, that's kind of like saying, where's my partner? Where's my partner? Interestingly enough, um mine went missing we're we're not talking so i guess i don't have one i don't have a two of cups so i had to go buy the steampunk deck again all right so let's see readiness for love six card spread Ugh, okay we're really starting off on a good one um what you want in love you get the death card you want big transformation um what you learned from love big lesson you learned some big lessons it looks like virgo you learned maybe about commitment you might have learned the importance of commitment or the importance of um dealing with people who are commitment material um what holds you back from love the three of cups um either either you're dealing with you've been dealing with third party situations or you're too busy um having fun and partying it up and just want maybe that's maybe you're not ready okay so let's see if you're ready what holds you back is um three of cups and that's usually a card of reconciling wanting to reconcile with somebody i'm not having it casey casey no nope don't you do it don't you do it um okay so the three of cups is either you're too busy having a good time or you're wanting to reconcile with somebody or you've been dealing with third party situations and now maybe you got trust issues. Um, readiness of your heart. Hold on a second. Twerp. He's going to stay in there. It's not happening. Um, so your heart's ready. You have the six of wands. So your heart is ready. It's ready for love. Um, but your mind, you don't think you're ready. So you think you'll just get rejected. Um, so what about your spirit? Your spirit's ready for it too, but you are probably thinking that you're going to get rejected, so you don't think you're ready. Um, and the temperance card on the bottom is telling you to just be patient. Just be patient. It's going to happen. Um, you know,
know, when you deal with relationships, when you deal with someone, a lot of times you can be guided to end a relationship either because that person is just not for you or they're just not for you right now. Um, one or both of you may not be ready for a relationship. You may not... Can you hear this? Can you hear this? <laughs> but one or both of you may not be ready for a relationship because maybe you're not emotionally mature yet. Maybe you have trust issues. Um, so if you imagine if you put two people together that have trust issues, they got to heal their trust issues before they can be ready for each other or anybody, right? So if you end it with somebody, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're done with that person. And it might. But it means that now is not a good time for you to be either with them or with anybody, you know, either with that person or with anyone. So I don't, I mean, I feel like when the universe tells you to let it go, you got to take a chance and let it go. Even if you love the person, you know, all right. So. And 19 is Everyday Tarot. Oh, that's a little tiny deck. Look at this little itty bitty deck. This is the tiniest little thing. I keep getting the security system popping off because my pop pups are on the front porch because I didn't want them barking while I'm trying to do a reading. I'm not having it. <laughs> do at least one reading that's free of barking and meowing and chasing and all that crap. Um, should they be trusted is the next spread. Should they be trusted? All right. So there's somebody you're here to hear about. Let's see if they should be trusted. At least he settled down. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So should they be trusted? So if that's like super loud, I apologize. Because I think if I remember correctly, it comes across as like really loud on the uh, audio. All right, what is the person's intentions? Um, right now, this person's intentions are to sit back and look and see how far you've come and what you've achieved between the two of you so far. Like what's been achieved? What what have you been through? Um, should I trust this person? Well, usually even numbers are yes. I feel like you want to hold on to them. And they may want to hold on to you. Um, will the relationship be beneficial? Okay, so you get the magician. That can be it's not known. It could be you will manifest things together. Or there could be manipulation. Um, overall advice... It's now, this is actually a good card to have as the advice. Um, take a leap of faith. Be open-minded. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Pentacles, and that's actually a card of working together. So, wow. So if it's the same person as the one up here, um, it looks like they want to work together with you. But this one was telling you to ignore them. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. Um, it looks like they, it's telling you here, the overall advice is to take a leap of faith that they do want to work together with you. So I would say just be cautious. Um, and we're at 14 minutes. So actually, let's do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we're going to do the all signs. And then I got to let the pup pups back in. And I got to go to a funeral. My aunt died on Friday. Um, it's now Tuesday and the funeral is at 11 o'clock and it's 10 o'clock now. And I got to real quickly change clothes and run out the door. All right. So flirt more, <laughs> dump them. 
it says to dump them. I don't know what to tell you, Virgo. It says to dump them. Redecorate your living space. They think you can do much better. Your person might have um, self-worth issues. They may be really down on themselves. They think you're a bitch. <laughs> Male or female, they think you're a bitch. Um, uh, here's the, where's what it is. And they miss you on the bottom of the deck. But they're afraid of getting hurt again. This person has trust issues. Oh my God, Virgo, you got a person with trust issues. They're afraid of getting hurt. Um, so if you are dealing with an Aries, oh, here it is. If you're dealing with an Aries, Look on the bottom of the deck. Ah, new start. All right, so new start and left. Um, so if you were dealing with an Aries, let's see. Did anything repeat? I feel like the, didn't the four... No. No, I don't think it did. All right. Yep, nothing repeated, I don't think. So, and you have every sign here, so there's that. Um, yeah, it's literally a little bit, little bit of everything. Bunch of pentacles, cups, swords, wands. Mm -hmm. All right, so. If you are dealing with an Aries, um, they're waiting to see what you're going to do. And, um, I think they want to, they're just going to end things. It looks like that. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, um, what are, in my head, I literally found myself thinking if you're dealing with a fellow Taurus. So anyone watching this may have um, a placement in Taurus, um, some in Rising or Venus. Um, if you are dealing with a Taurus, they are horny. <laughs> And kind of stubborn and bossy. All right. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, um, they want to they want to hold on to you. They want a new chapter. So if you were dealing with a Cancer, um, they're kind of living it up right now, and um, they're at a crossroads to decide which way they're going to turn. If you're dealing with a Leo, um, they're having a hard time making a decision, but they do have a lot of love for you. If you're dealing with a fellow Virgo, um, they got a lot of passion for you, and but they're defensive. They might be trying to fight off other people too, um, other competitors. So if you are dealing with a Libra, they're kind of being bitchy, but they want things to be equal. That is too funny. It literally is two Libra cards. Queen of Swords and Justice card are both Libra cards. Um, but yeah, they're kind of bitchy, but they, they want things to be equal. Scorpio is taking forever to invest in this, but they do want to work with you. They're just taking, they're, they're slow on their ass. Um, the Sagittarius is kind of weighing their options. They might be juggling. Um, and they're focused on healing and um, just taking care of themselves and, and their own stability. Um, Capricorn wants to take a leap of faith. They're moving quickly towards you. The Aquarius wants to end things. They're making a judgment call to end things. The uh, Pisces is... You know what? I almost feel like the Pisces is not realistic in love. Um, they're, wear, they're kind of wearing rose-colored glasses and they're... They're just thinking about the past. They're going down memory lane, I think. Um, and then here's you having a tower moment with somebody. So tower moment. All right, Virgo. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next reading. All right.